A man, bound in chains, sat on his knees in front of five people sitting in thrones. Some man spoke, Zhang Yu's inner disciple, does he realize that he has offended the holy son of the holy land? Yu shouted angrily, old fool, he is innocent of this. The man slammed his fist on the armrest of the throne and shouted back that he was an impudent traitor, he wanted to give him a chance to start over, but it seems he doesn't know his place. Let someone remove Jiang Yu's supreme bone. Yu smiled a little, chuckling at his words and replied, understandably, as expected from this divine freak who only wanted his supreme bone. He hit his chest, causing a lot of blood to spill, the people around him were dumbfounded by his actions. He took out a glowing magic stone and said, this is just a supreme bone. So he should take it away if he really wants it at this time his gaze changed to a more terrifying one and he said that in three years, he, Zhang Yu, swears that he and the Ling Sao Holy Land will pay for what he did today. Three years later, entering Huna, Yu is meditating, sitting on a wooden plane, floating on the water, the system window reports that the system is activated, access to the system is now open. He said with pride that after three years he had finally completed the task of activating the system. At that moment, a magic ball appeared in front of him, made a sound and said that he congratulated the owner on restoring the supreme bone and successfully activating the system. The quest reward is a divine level method, emperor cultivation, zero out of 1000. The special reward is an extremely strong buff, immortality. Immortality, the strongest in the whole world, will never leave and will never die. The ball shouted with joy that these were rewards for completing the task. Yu was overjoyed and said, Divine Level Cultivation Method. Immortality. Three years of suffering were worth it. System, he loves it. At this moment, the system ball told him with caution that the time system had closed the reward space, which Yu was unpleasantly surprised by, the system would stop working, the owner would be forcibly removed from here. Yu was very frightened and spoke in a trembling voice, stretching out his hand so that it would wait for him for a minute. At that moment, a bright explosion occurred and he screamed in pain, after which he landed on the ground in some forest and said, gritting his teeth, what a horror, why did this even happen now? He started to think about it more deeply and wondered, wait, didn't the system say he was already invincible? But he is only in the realm of Kai purification. In the Tianyu continent, martial arts are divided into nine realms, body cultivation, Kai refining, five elements, true mastery, immortality, sage and supreme, and each realm has three stages, early, middle and last stage. The gap between each kingdom is like the difference between heaven and earth. He is in the early stage of the Kai refinement realm. So is it true that he is actually strong, but did not know about it until now? This sword is a spiritual level weapon, even a person in the five element realm will not be able to resist it. He's immortal anyway, so he'll just do it. He grabbed his sword and swung it sharply with complete confidence, but suddenly he accidentally hit his neck with the blade and his blood spilled. He grabbed the wound and said in fear, what a horror. He looked at his bloody hand before losing consciousness and falling to the ground, still bleeding. A minute later, his blood, which poured out, began to boil and be drawn back into his body. The wound healed abruptly. He woke up, got up from the earth, grabbed his head in bewilderment and wondered what had happened to him. Suddenly he realized this and said, these are the feelings of a breakthrough. What's happening to him? Early stage of the five element kingdom. He looked away and said, but you shouldn't tell him that he will become stronger with every death. The audience hall of the Hongwu sect. A man saw a bright yellow light in front of him and shouted in bewilderment, this is it. The man next to him spoke with calmness, the disciple made a breakthrough and awakened the full power of the essence. The other guy said in addition that this essence is even better than Zhang Yu's supreme bone, their Hongwu sect is truly blessed. The man said that the others should give orders and find this disciple, their Hongwu sect will train him. At this time in the forest, the magic ball said, should it be like this, master? Yu replied for this ball to give it to him, he wants it, let it trample him. The magic ball said, okay, this is his first time too, so he should be patient. Yu screamed loudly, he found himself sitting on the ground and said that becoming strong is very tiring. And Zhang Yu, who died 1000 times in an hour, speaks about this. The magic ball held in its hands the divine weapon, the great sword, and turned to Yu with the words, Master, please let him stop his bragging. Yu lay down in a relaxed position on the ground and said that he simply could not believe that after 1000 deaths, he had only broken through to the late stage of the five element realm. The system window tells him that the late stage five element realm is zero out of 10,000. He only gains one experience point every time he kills himself, so if he wants to break through to the realm of true mastery, he must die 10,000 times. The magic ball responded, it is only 10,000, so the system is ready to help him. You grabbed the ball in his hands angrily and shouted, is this ball addicted to this? By the way, this is deliberately making his life difficult. Okay, he will already forget that the activation task was difficult, but why is leveling up such a pain? The magic ball said in a trembling voice that this was a joke, it was just a system, could it even be against the main character? If he doesn't believe the system ball, 
Then let him just look into the sincere eyes of this one. You gave him the middle finger and told him to shut up this system ball, after which he opened the system window and said, okay, never mind, he doesn't want to go through this bullying again, it's better to let him use this time to learn the cultivation method. System window asks him if he wants to learn the emperor's cultivation method. He replied yes, but the system window says that he does not have enough experience, learning the cultivation method requires 1000 experience points. He got angry at the system and shouted, is this mocking him? He kept pushing buttons on a system that told him over and over again that he didn't have enough experience. At this moment, a girl and a guy were already wandering through the forest at a fast speed. The guy said, Elder Sister, by order of the elders, he is in charge of searching for the student who awakened his essence, but why does the presence of this student sometimes disappear and reappear? You at this time was in the process of execution. He killed himself again and again, stabbing a dagger into his chest. The girl asked the guy a question, could this be a body of chaos or the essence of nothingness? The guy answered with a question, the essence of nothingness, body of chaos. The same thing only happens in legends. At that moment, they arrived at the place where you was, who continued to kill himself with the words, 998, 999. The girl said that they had arrived, but suddenly she looked at you in bewilderment and asked what it was. What is brother Zhang Yu doing here? You grinned at that moment and said, everything is fine, this is his last time. This god-level cultivation method would be in his hands. The girl was very frightened when she saw him pointing a dagger at his chest, which made her dumbfounded for a moment, after which she quickly ran to save you, screaming, Brother Jiang Yu, he shouldn't do this. He dropped the dagger when she touched his hands, he looked into her eyes and asked, Dea, is that her? What is she doing here? Tears appeared in her eyes and she said, Brother Jiang Yu, why would he do such a stupid thing as suicide? He froze in bewilderment and pointed a finger at himself, looking questioningly at her. She said that she knows that her father hurt him three years ago, but even so he cannot kill himself. You smiled back at her and asked her to listen to him, Dea, he was not going to commit suicide, it was difficult for him to explain this to her. This pose really looks like suicide to others, but he couldn't tell her what he was cultivating. She answered him, brother, has his cultivation level been restored? Is it really him who awakened his physique in the clan? At this moment, he became wary and thoughtful, awakening the physique. It seemed that when his supreme bone was revived, the aura that leaked out was detected by them. Dea smiled and told him, great, brother Jiang Yu. She knew he could do it. If the elders knew about this news, but before she could finish her words, Yu grinned sharply and said that he was sure that they would have wonderful expressions on their faces. The main hall of the clan, congratulations to the men, Master Lin has another talented student. The other man laughed and spoke with delight, how could the Hongwu clan compare to the talented people of the Lingxiao Holy Land? The other man replied, last time it was the supreme bone, but this time it is a genius and physique, stronger than the supreme bone, even for him in his holy land this is a rarity. Just this time he came to his school not only to congratulate Master Lin, his retinue intends to accept this brilliant student of his into his sect under the leadership of the demon. The man was surprised by these words and said, What? Mr. Envoy, three years ago he had already helped present the supreme bone of Jiang Yu to his excellency, the emperor's son, this time. But before he could finish speaking, the man turned to him in bewilderment and asked a question with complete seriousness that Master Lin does not agree. He should not forget that his Hongwu sect is just a mongrel of their sacred land Ling Sao. There is no need for him to teach him how to be an obedient dog, Great Master Lin. Lin bowed to him and said, Yes, Mr. Envoy, the subordinate said too much. Mr. Envoy put the mug in place and said, He shouldn't worry, Great Master Lin. He just needs to devote himself wholeheartedly to serving the holy land and naturally there will be a lot of benefits from this. At this moment, the subordinate ran up to the master, bowed deeply and said that he was reporting that the eldest daughter had found a disciple who had awakened his physique, now he was waiting outside the hall for the master to call him. The master replied to call him here quickly. After a while, you came into his room and said with an ominous smile, they haven't seen each other for a long time, teacher. The master began to shout with rage, Jiang Yu, what did he do here? He should get out of here, because this is no place for an individual like him. Mr. Envoy smiled and thought, is this Jiang Yu? It is very interesting. You asked him a question, is he disabled? The master was dumbfounded, after which you continued to tell him, Master, he is crazy, he thought that he was in a hurry to invite him, but why did his face change so quickly? At that moment, bright yellow rays began to shine around his body, the master was scared and wondered what it was. The last stage of the realm of the five elements. Wasn't he declared incompetent by him? You came closer to him, laughed and said, Old man, does he still hope to make him disabled? The master was beside himself with shock and thought, well, he didn't expect that Jiang Yu would be able to awaken a new physique after being destroyed by him. The retinue of the land wants to recruit him. With his talent, if he enters the holy land, in the future this kid will definitely take revenge on him for everything he has done. 
he returned and sat back in the chair and with a horrifying expression on his face began to reflect on the fact that he should have been strangled in the cradle. He made a sudden movement with his hand and directed his magical powers towards you, shouting that the rebel dared to be rude and defame the sect master. Let him kneel down. You didn't expect such a blow a little and thought that this was Xu and Wu's palm, a hidden rank martial art. This old fool is trying to kill him. The master continued to use his magical powers, which greatly surprised the messenger, who shouted angrily, Lin Ziyu, what is he doing? He answered him, Mr. Envoy, he lost his composure for a moment. At this moment, he stopped using magic and thought, Zhang Yu, this time he is definitely dead. The messenger shouted that this was enough, he did not want to listen to his explanation at all. He will be punished for killing Zhang Yu. At this moment, a system window appeared among a huge column of dust, which reported experience plus one. Does he want to study the divine technique, the secret of the sacred body of the Buddha? You extended his hand to the system window and answered, yes. The system window congratulates the owner on acquiring the divine technique, the secret of the sacred body of the Buddha, abstract. The technique of the secret of the sacred body of the Buddha, the strongest combat power enhancement technique in heaven, burns life to enhance his combat power and fight beyond his rank. This technique really suits him, if anyone were in his place, he would already be dead. But not only is he not afraid of death, but he becomes stronger by dying. This is just a bug. At that moment, magical rays began to glow around his body, which greatly surprised the master and Mr. Envoy, who turned in bewilderment at the pillar of dust and shouted, What is happening? The master thought with fear that this was completely impossible. With the cultivation of his spirit of the last stage of the north, with all its strength, how could he not kill this child? Yu's whole body burst into flames and he asked him with a smile that he was disappointed that he didn't die. The master went to attack him again and headed towards him at a fast speed, shouting, Insolent, let him get another hit. He decided to attack him with his fist, but you easily bypassed his blow and smiled back at him. They found themselves opposite each other and prepared for a fierce battle. The master shouted, pointing his hand towards him, a finger shaking the heavens. You smiled in response to his attack and said what a stupid move it was. The master thought in disbelief, is this kid really going to directly meet his heaven-shaking finger? Suddenly he saw how his finger began to light up with a bright flame, and then his whole hand, he looked at it with fear and wondered what kind of technique this was. It's so strong. You rose into the air, waved his hand and said that now it was his turn. He directed his forces towards the master, who tried to turn away from this, but you said again with a smile, the old freak. The level of cultivation of his northern spirit is so-so, compared to his realm of the five elements, he will not be able to damage even the hair on his head. The master spoke with anger, he, after which Mr. Envoy abruptly began to clap his hands and laugh loudly with the words, steadfastness is the best quality of youth, he needs talents like him in the western field of the holy land. You replied, this matter is between him and Lin Ziyu, who is he to interfere in their personal accounts? Yu was thinking at this moment that he was afraid that this person's cultivation was stronger than Lin Ziyu's. Lin started shouting at him, how dare he say that? This gentleman is the deputy master of the Link Sao Holy Land Western Temple. If he offends him, then even 10,000 lives will not be enough to die. You thought and wondered, looking away to the side, the sacred land of Link Sao. The Lord Envoy laughed and said, turning to Zhang Yu, he should not misunderstand him. His sacred land of Link Sao is also divided into two parts, into the eastern and western parts. The one who is at enmity with him is the holy master of the eastern field. He has no relationship with his western field. His western field has always valued talent, so he should think carefully about joining the western field. He has great prospects of doing so. A golden object, the western field, appeared in Yu's hands. He looked at it and wondered, what is this western field? Why does he have such strong deja vu? Mr. Envoy laughed and said, that's right, this is the western field, Jiang Yu, he should think about it carefully. With his talent, he just needs to agree to work for him in the western field and he will agree to any conditions. You asked him again with a smile, any conditions? He answered, right. You grinned and asked him a question, what would happen if he said that he needed the life of the son of the elder of the holy land of Ling Sao, Fang Xinyu? He said this in a trembling voice, but you replied that it was impossible. It seems that what was said earlier about the western field of the holy land is just empty words. The gentleman was beside himself with shock, but quickly calmed down and said with a smile, Jiang Yu, this is something he really can't do, can he choose something else? He turned around and replied that he would excuse him, but he did not agree with the other conditions, he was not interested in anything. The gentleman grinned and answered with an ominous look, Jiang Yu, if he doesn't want it in a good way, then everything will be bad. Because young people shouldn't be too arrogant, he should keep in mind that unformed talent will not surpass even a cockroach. Yu laughed at his words and asked him if he was really threatening him. Then there is no need for any negotiations between them. At that moment, he clenched his fist with incredible force, causing the golden object to break into several pieces. 
Both men got angry and Mr. Anboy said with incredible anger, Jiang Yu, he is looking for his death. You asked him again, so he is looking for death. Really? After that, he laughed and said with complete confidence, yes, he is looking for death. He should get closer if he is capable of finishing off the young master. Mr. Envoy got angry, his hand began to emit flames and he shouted, okay, he doesn't have the courage at all, he will let him see his brilliant holy land martial technique. He made a sharp movement with his hand, bright rays of light began to spread throughout the room, it was an instant killing technique. Master Lin thought with a smile that he simply couldn't believe it, this is an instant killing technique. Yu found himself among its bright rays, his blood was shed and Lin thought that this was just great, and now this kid, Jiang Yu, is dead. After a while, they began to gradually be distributed throughout the room, and in the center of the room. A completely healthy Yu was already sitting on the ground, who stood up, and the system window informed him of experience plus 108. He wondered what this even was. If experience is plus 108, does that mean he just died 108 times? He laughed and spoke emotionally, Worthy of a real representative of power, the experience was delivered right to the address. Master Lin said, Mr. Envoy is truly an exceptional person, he even cultivated the instant killing technique to such a level. Mr. Envoy replied that Master Lin was exaggerating this, he had just started practicing the instant killing technique. The supreme elder of his holy land had once used the instant killing technique to destroy tens of thousands of demonic spirits in a single breath, so he was still nowhere near good enough. Master Lin smiled and said, No, no, Mr. Envoy is too modest. At this moment, you laughed, Mr. Envoy slightly opened his eye in bewilderment, sensing something was wrong and wondered what was happening. How is this even possible? You came out to them from the remaining haze and Mr. Envoy could barely utter words. He was hit by his instant killing technique, how can he even be okay? You grabbed his chest and wondered, was this technique called an instant killing technique? Still, it worked a little, maybe if he tries a few more times, then he can kill him. You began to smile at him with thoughts of him doing this, hurry up and give him more experience. When he breaks into the realm of true mastery, he will immediately send him on his way. Mr. Envoy understood that it is absolutely impossible for the cockroach of the realm of the five elements could withstand his instant killing technique. What kind of physique had Jiang Yu awakened? The hour of death is approaching. The Supreme Elder is precisely thanks to his support that the Western field is able to hold back the Eastern field. So they are looking for a suitable talent for cultivation so that the Supreme Elder can use it to transmigrate into his body. It seems that this Jiang Yu's physique is most suitable for the Supreme Elder to occupy his body. Mr. Envoy smiled in Jiang Yu's face and told him that this is very good. Jiang Yu, he was somewhat impressed with him. He will not kill him today. He will give him a few more days to think about it. Yu was surprised by these words and shouted back to him, What else can you think about? Let him hit him a few more times, he would rather die than give up now. The gentleman envoy told him, grinning, that he was obstinate, he would give him three more days to think. After these words, he turned to Lin Ziyu and asked him to look after this child, he needs to report something important to the Holy Land. In three days if he does not see this child, that there will no longer be a need for the existence of his Hongu sect. Master Lin said this in bewilderment, but before he could finish speaking, you got involved in their conversation and asked with disappointment, that is, they won't fight. Suddenly he opened his arms in different directions to prevent Mr. Envoy from going to the exit and shouted at him not to leave here. Old man. He was joking when he said that he would rather die than surrender, after removing him a few more times and perhaps he will immediately retreat, he should not give up, failure is the mother of success. Mr. Envoy at that moment got angry and thought that this guy was simply mentally retarded after which he shouted back at him to get out of here. Out of anger he pushed him aside and the system window informed him that his experience was plus 360. He fell to the ground and said with a smile, truly a true altruist, thank you, brother, for 468 experience points. Shuanwu Gate Martial Arts Stadium. You said in a satisfied voice, he felt calm like that, yes, like that, stronger, didn't he eat or what? While he was saying these words, Master Lin was stretching his legs while he was lying there on the tiles in the street. Master Lin got angry, stood up from his seat and shouted, Enough, Jiang Yu, he is a troublemaker, he should not bully people too much. Yu also got up from the ground, stood opposite him and asked him what he said, Does the master really blame the student for this? It seems to him that the student can only apologize by committing suicide to appease the teacher's anger, and he brought the dagger to his throat after these words. Master Lin ran up to him in fear and shouted that he didn't need to do this. He grabbed his dagger, just his hands and blood began to flow and he screamed in pain. Yu took his dagger and said, Master, should he have done this? Lin looked at him with hatred and thought about how terrible it was. 
He couldn't even imagine that after all the years of living in the world he would fail with a foolish fool. If it weren't for the check of the messenger who wanted to save this kid's life, he would have done it long ago. At this moment, he smiled at Yu's face and told him, Jiang Yu, he was too impulsive. He, as a high-ranking person, should forgive people's mistakes, he should not act rashly. Yu smiled and replied, he was just joking with the master, how could he be so stupid to try to kill himself? Moreover, although his life is as insignificant as the life of a cockroach, it is still connected with the lives of hundreds of people in the Hongwu sect. Even if he wants to die, he still has to think about his fellow students, right, Master? Master Lin said with a smile twisted with anger, yes, he is indeed right about this. Some people crowded around them, and one of the guys said, watching everything that was happening, that he was leaving here, but who was he that the Master should nod and bow to him? Another guy standing next to him asked him to be silent with a gesture and replied, Junior guy, he should be careful, this is Jiang Yu, the most ruthless person in the Hongwu sect, if he hears him, he will be killed. The guy asked him again, is he really that terrifying? They answered him, of course, because a few days ago a couple of older brothers rushed at him, he presented a knife to himself and tried to commit suicide. The guy asked him again, but why does it seem to him that everyone is afraid that he will commit suicide? He was told that he simply did not understand, he should listen to what he was about to tell. Repository of Buddhist Canons Some guy met you approaching this building and angrily told him that entry into the vault was prohibited. At this moment, the guy thought with fear, looking at you, this calm pose, this skillful suicide technique, could it be that he? But before he had time to think through his thought, one of the men came out to him and said that it was Jiang Yu, he should let him in. Yu made a small bow, looked at the man and said, Elder Wu, they haven't seen each other for a long time, he still looks great. Wu answered him with a grin, the brat, he, however, has changed a lot, he talks in vain. He also heard a lot about his affairs, not a minute of peace in the last days and all because of him, damn boy. Yu answered him with a smile that he was simply overpraising him. Wu continued to speak, turning to him, Yu, who should forgive people if possible without going too far, for the sake of his master, Jiang Yu, he should behave well. He sold him the golden key and said that he had not come to the repository of Buddhist canons in order to remember the old friendship with him as an old man, he should go and go there as soon as possible. Yu saw the key given to him and realized that this key to the third floor was a storage room. He took it and thanked Elder Wu for such an attitude, after which he turned away and Wu, looking after him, thought about Lin Ziyu, this is the last thing he can do to help him, he also believes that he will not disgrace his father's order. He also hoped that this child, Jiang Yu, would remember this good deed, otherwise in the future, he was afraid that sooner or later the Hongwu sect would reap bitter fruits. He entered the repository of Buddhist canons and looked around, inside there were many people who used the information found there. He walked to one of the bookshelves and thought about it, it seems that over the past few years, Lin Ziyu has received quite a bit of benefit from the Ling Xiao Holy Land, the collection of books on the first floor of the storehouse is much larger than before. He spoke out loud, techniques, rare books, he's on his way. The people around him noticed something was wrong and began to avoid him, and also whispered, holy saints, this is Jiang Yu himself, no need to go near him. In the Tian Yu continent, secret techniques are divided into six ranks, celestial, Tao, sage, secret spirit and mortal. With the exception of mortal rank, all other secret techniques require reaching the realm of the five elements before one can begin cultivating it. The first floor of the repository of Buddhist canons only contains mortal rank techniques, which are not particularly useful for him. But still he should go to the second floor. He saw the entrance to the second floor and wondered what it was all about. Was it like this before? He walked up to the gate and started talking angrily, out of the way, he needed to get through. A fiery beam formed in his hands, he looked away to the side in bewilderment, he did not understand at all what was happening. A bright beam of light hit the wall, and he fell to the floor screaming in fear and pain, after which he stood up and wondered what it was. He was approached by a young man named Zhu Han, who is the first disciple of the great elder of the Hongwu sect, and he told him Jiang Yu laughed, he cannot open this stone door with brute force. After these words, Han put his hand to the door and with the help of magic began to open the doors. At that moment he turned to Yu and began to explain that in order to enter the second level of the repository of Buddhist canons, he needed to succeed in cultivating ten mortal rank techniques. It took him three years to complete learning the ten techniques, as for him, he should just take his time and wait, and he laughed again. Yu became very angry and shouted with rage, how terrible, these are only ten mortal rank techniques, how dare he talk about it. He raised his finger up and shouted, system. After that, blue magic formed around his finger and a magic system ball appeared in front of his face in a nightcap and in a sleepy state, which said, he did it so early, what does he want? 
At that moment, with one sharp movement of his hand, you grabbed the ball, the cap fell off this ball, and you, with a terrifying look, asked the system ball, are there any ways to quickly learn 10 mortal rank techniques? The magic ball answered him, mortal rank techniques, quickly learn 10 pieces, isn't he joking about it? You threw the ball aside with the words, it's really impossible, he was actually counting on this, it's a garbage system that can be ignored because he'll figure it out himself. The system ball answered him, so who said that he couldn't do it, this ball was just wondering why he needed to learn these crappy techniques, even as many as 10. You said with an exciting reaction that I need to take this into my head, but I should just tell him what to do. The system ball replied, all he needs to do is put his hand on the book of the secret technique and use his experience to study this book. You smiled after hearing this and said, so this is how it works. The system ball withdrew from his space with the words that in the future he should not bother the system over such trifles. You grabbed the book in his hands and said, okay, he will start with this book. He held the book in front of him with his left hand, and with his right hand he channeled magical powers, causing bright blue rays to start shining out of the book. The system window reports that the incomplete wild tiger fist technique is being studied, zero out of one. He reached his finger to the system screen and the system spoke, the incomplete wild tiger fist technique was successfully studied by him, experience minus one. He suddenly opened his eyes and saw the tiger monster present, after which he laughed and was glad that this was a really powerful system that he loved. The system window reports that Bagua Zhang has been successfully learned, the dragon body technique has been successfully learned, and the Arashi wind palm technique has been successfully learned. He approached the door and someone passing by wondered what was going on, wasn't Jiang Yu standing there? He still wants to go up to the second floor. He's probably trying to use brute force to open the ancient stone again, so they can wait until he exposes himself to ridicule. Yu touched the door, which after his touch glowed with a bright magical light, which meant that he had completely succeeded. The guys who were discussing it nearby were surprised by this phenomenon and tried to cover their eyes from the bright light falling on them. One of the guys shouted, wow, this is so dazzling. You managed to do this, after which the guy came closer to him and said, Brother, let him allow you to ask him how senior brother was able to learn 10 mortal rank techniques for half a stick of incense. The guys knelt down and the second guy asked him, as a brother, to enlighten them on this. You turned to them with a smile and replied that a strong man does not need explanations. The guys looked after him and said that he was just a real example to follow. When will they be able to become the same? The second floor of the vault? There was a blonde girl named Dea, and around her there were many magical objects located inside huge magic balls. She walked up to one of these balls and thought, a technique of the highest spiritual rank, this is a fire source technique, she doesn't know if it will work this time. She tried to do something and realized that it did not react at all. She grabbed her hand and with a frustrated look realized that she had failed again. At this moment, Han approached her with some objects in his hands and called to her, little sister Dea, this is just a fire technique, if she wants, he can give it to her. She grinned and walked in the other direction from him. He looked at her with irritation and thought that this woman is so ungrateful, he wants her to one day become his girlfriend and kneel before him, Zhu Han. At that moment, he saw a glowing door behind him, turned towards it and wondered, what is happening? Did someone really open the passage to the second floor? At that moment, Yu began to enter through this door, which Han was very surprised and said with a frightened expression on his face that this simply cannot be. Jiang Yu, how did he get here? Yu decided to answer him mockingly, Zhu Han, so why shouldn't he come here? With his talent, how can he spend three years learning ten mortal rank techniques like some people? Han shouted back at him in disbelief that he shouldn't say this nonsense, Jiang Yu, he must have cheated somehow. He, Zhu Han, considers it beneath his dignity to argue with him. Yu answered him calmly, it seems that some mediocrities are not able to discern the difference between themselves and geniuses. Han shouted at him with brightness, who did he call mediocre? His entourage shouted, exactly who did he just talk about? Another close person shouted, Jiang Yu, he should tell him everything clearly. Yu closed his eyes, showed them his index finger and said that they should not misunderstand him, he is not talking about him, he is saying that everything is spontaneity. Han was bursting with anger and he shouted again, Jiang Yu, he really did. But before he could shout out everything he wanted, he rose high above Yu and Yu said with a grin, it's good that he came, this is really a good opportunity to practice his newly acquired martial arts skills. And at that moment, with one sharp movement of his leg, endangering the enemy, he hit one of the guys close to him. After that, on the other guy he used the flying dragon palm technique, and then he used the mad tiger fist. He made such sudden movements that no one had time to follow him and he was able to defeat all his opponents, who found themselves sitting on the floor with new wounds received. He came closer to them and spoke, he had already told them that they were all mediocre, 
but he himself insisted and asked for cruelty, why? At that moment, Dea saw him and said with delight behind his back, Brother Jung Yu. He heard her voice and said with a smile, Dea, so she is here too. She walked closer to him and asked the question, Brother Jung Yu, what is going on here? He replied that nothing like that was happening. They were just sparring with martial arts students, but the students of the Hongwu sect were really getting worse every year. Dea looked at the guys and replied, It's true, some of them are not only incompetent people, but also like to harass students' girls and defame morality. She will have to talk to the elders about how to establish discipline in the sect. After these words, the two of them walked further down the corridor, which made Han very angry and said, Damn Jiang Yu, he should wait for him, because one day he will tear him to pieces. Dea and Yu walked together into a room with magical objects. Yu looked around and turned to Dea with the words, On the second floor all the techniques are protected by a magical barrier, in which case how can he get the technique out of this? She looked at him with curiosity, and addressing him as Jiang Yu's brother asked a question, Is he here for the first time? He replied, yes, that's true. To which she said, this is what it is, on the second floor of the repository of Buddhist canons there are techniques of higher spiritual rank. All techniques above the spiritual rank already have their own consciousness and can independently choose a suitable martial artist to cultivate. All he needs to do is check his aura for the magical barrier in which the technique is located, which will immediately make a selection. If the cultivation is suitable, then the technique itself will be able to break through the barrier and come out. Yu liked her explanation and replied smiling, it's clear that he will try to show an aura, right? At that moment, many magical rays appeared around him and he screamed from using such power. Dea noticed some two magical objects that were inside the bright red magic dome and said, so this. At that moment, objects began to shoot out of the magical barriers. Han and his guys wondered what it was, could it be an earthquake? One of the guys replied to him, boss, he should be more careful in this situation. He shouted at this guy not to make a fuss over nothing, why was he making a fuss? Suddenly he saw a magical fiery object in front of him and wondered what it was. He abruptly extended his hand to the side and shouted, Yes, this is an early stage secret rank martial art. He tried to pick up the object that was escaping him and shouted for it not to get away from him. At that moment, the guys behind him shouted at him, Boss. He fell to the ground, unable to grasp the object. Yu and Dea walked further, she looked at him with a frightened look and thought, it couldn't be that just by standing still with his aura open, he caused all the martial arts on the second floor to break through the barriers. What a monstrous gift this is. At that moment, Yu saw something and was surprised by it, came closer and said, wow, there are so many techniques there. He grabbed one of the glowing cards and said, it seems that the protection on the second floor of the repository of Buddhist canons is nothing more than a formality. Dea said in an emotional outburst that this is a fire source technique. He turned to her and wondered, little sister Dea, does she even need this? Then this is for her. She was delighted by his words and thanked her brother for such a generous gift. Confusion was visible on her face. You looked thoughtful and began to wonder why these are all spiritual rank techniques. This is the second floor, are there really no secret rank techniques? At that moment, one of the magical glowing cards appeared in front of his face. He grabbed it with his hand and said, early stage secret rank martial art, dragon catching hand. At that moment, Han ran up to him and shouted to him, Jiang Yu, he should get his dirty hands off, it's his technique. Yu turned around at his words and asked again, so he says it's his. Does this really have his name on it? Sister Dea ran to intercede for him and said with anger, that's right, the techniques of the second floor of the vault were always given to those who were really able to do it. Zhu Han, he is such a brawler, isn't he afraid that she will tell the great elder about this? Han shouted back to her, this is the technique of the second floor of the repository of Buddhist canons. His teacher gave it to him. Dea continued to shout at him, but you took her a little aside and said, Dea sis, but she shouldn't be so angry with such a person, Zhu Han, doesn't he need this technique? If he has the courage, then let him take it from him, and if not, then let him just get out of his way. Han got angry and said in a trembling voice, okay, Zhang Yu, he just forced him to do it, so he doesn't have to think about the fact that he, Zhu Han, is afraid of him. He grabbed the fire pill in his hands and remembered how this same pill was given to him by a gray-haired man who said, Han, this was ordered by the Lord to allow him to briefly go beyond the realm, he can only use it as a last resort. At this moment, he swallowed the pill, his eyes were bloodshot, his whole body was in great tension, he clenched his hands into fists and shouted. Yu looked at him with a smile and asked again, is this really a drug? Does he really think he can become his equal if he takes the drug? What a naive man he is. Han smiled back at him with an ominous smile and said, but this is strength, this is power. After which he showed him his fist and said, Jiang Yu, if he wants to laugh, then let him do it now, for him now killing him is like crushing a cockroach. Dea said, observing Han's behavior, this aura is almost equivalent to the middle of the realm of true mastery, Ju Han, he is simply crazy. Yu replied, the middle stage of the realm of true mastery is only, 
Zhu Han, he will allow him to make three attacks, so that later this old turtle, the great elder, will not tell him that he is offending the weak. Han got angry, waved his hand glowing with magic and said, Jiang Yu, he still dares to be rude to him before dying. He directed his forces at him and shouted, Forward, Thunder, Law. Yu stood motionless, causing Sister Dea to shout at him in fear, Brother Jiang Yu, this is really dangerous, he should get out of here. At that moment, a bright fiery explosion occurred, Han looked into the distance and said in bewilderment that this was simply impossible. He touched Yu's body with his magic hand, but nothing happened to him at that time, he was afraid of this and shouted, he is in the realm of the five elements, no, he cannot be such a strong person. Yu answered him calmly, the first, but before he could finish speaking, Han shouted in incredible rage, no, he is clearly disabled. He doesn't believe it. The law of destroying the enemy. Yu smiled in his face and said, second. Fear was expressed in Han's eyes and he said in complete bewilderment, what horror, after which he jumped up and shouted, again directing his powers towards Yu, the law of clear sky. He slapped him in the face and started laughing loudly, saying, Zhang Yu, it looks like he overdid it. You could see the blood coming out on Yu's face. He licked it and said to him with a smile, yes. The three attacks are over, now it's his turn. Secret rank technique, hand that crushes dragons, experience minus five. He sent his magical powers towards him, from which a magical hand of incredible size was formed right above the body of Han. Who saw this, was dumbfounded and very scared, after which he shouted, no, he should stop doing this, Jiang Yu, elder brother, he was not right. Yu answered him that he realized it too late, the tiger does not threaten, but shows his strength, or who does he take it for? Hello Kitty. He waved his hand away, all the fire went towards Han and he screamed in horror. After such a maneuver, a large circle of broken paw formed around Han's body, blood flowed from his mouth, and his eyes were rolled up. Dea was upset about what happened and turned to her brother and asked him a question, Brother Jiang Yu, did he really hurt Zhu Han? He was the great elder's most beloved disciple. He asked her again, and so what? On the path of cultivation, it is survival of the fittest. Didn't the sect master and the great elder do the same to him three years ago? Fists are the only thing that makes sense. If today he remained the same as three years ago, then the person lying on the ground would be him, not Zhu Han. All the remaining equipment on the second floor is for her, Dea. Disappointment was visible on her face and she thought with teary eyes, Brother Jiang Yu is really different from his former self, what happened to him in these three years? At this moment, Yu was proud of himself and thought that it's all over, success and name are deeply hidden, wasn't he just very good? He walked into some room further, stopped in front of a high pillar and said that this is the third floor of the repository of Buddhist canons, where only generations of sect leaders can enter. 8 Secret Rank Final Stage Techniques he saw several magic cards and said with joy, this. This is at least a secret rank technique, if not higher. Some turtle monster grabbed one of the cards in its mouth and held it for some time. Yu rose up with a sharp movement, leaving a trail of fire behind him and headed towards the monster to take away this card. But suddenly it became an overwhelming protective barrier. He landed and said that it really wasn't that easy to get. After which he jumped up again and shouted, the hand of the dragon catcher. He directed his forces, but he still didn't succeed and he said that this was a disgrace. At that moment, strong magic was directed in his direction, which slightly crippled him. He was left bleeding from the abrasions, but received plus one experience. Yu sent his gaze to the side and saw a brightly shining light, after which an old man with red eyes appeared and said, who dares to touch the true scripture of Chuanwu? Yu looked at this old man in horror and thought about what terrifying power, this man's kingdom is stronger than that of the Holy Land envoy, since when did such a person appear in the Hongwu sect? The old man touched his beard, looked sharply to the side and did not understand what had happened, wondering what. A boy with the five element realm can resist the effects of the Xuanwu true scripture, is he a descendant of his Xuanwu sect? You asked him again, is he talking about the Xuanwu sect? Isn't this the territory of the Hongwu sect? The old man replied, the Hongwu sect is the Xuanwu sect, how did he get here if he doesn't even know this? He pointed his index finger at him, from which powerful energy came out with the words to let him see what his intentions were. Yu was frightened by this gesture and thought, no, this is the great law of summoning the soul. The old man, with the help of his magical powers, looked at Yu from the other side and said that this was all interesting, which means that it was Wu Quanjian who initially let him in. He cannot believe that he finally has a worthy descendant from the Xuanwu sect. Yu tensed up after these words and thought, damn, this old man should not find out the secret of his immortal body. At this moment, the old man told him with surprise that he really had secrets that even he could not find out, this was also quite interesting. Yu exhaled, thinking that it seemed like he couldn't open it. The old man waved his finger and said, since he is a descendant of his Xuanwu sect, he can freely study these eight techniques. As for the true scripture of Xuanwu, he advises him to leave thoughts about it. 
you asked him a question, does he want to expose him with eight insignificant secret class techniques? This is the so-called Chuan Wu true scripture, he will taste it today, and even the heavenly emperor will not stop him. The old man snorted and said, what an arrogant boy he is, with his current level of cultivation, he would not be able to study the true Chuan Wu scripture even if he received it. The true Chuan Wu scripture was created by a supreme being, and in order to study it, one must first enter nirvana and only then begin. Only the master of the immortal realm has the chance to learn the true scripture of Chuan Wu, so he, a youth of the five element realm, will be completely destroyed if he forces himself to practice it. You answered him, Ancestor, isn't it too early to talk about this, how can he know that he won't succeed if he doesn't try it? At this moment, he thought that with his current strength, he was definitely not an opponent to those people from the Ling Sao Holy Land. The old man stroked his beard and replied in a calm tone, Okay, young man, apparently he will not give up in the face of difficulties without tasting bitterness. At this moment, several stones fell to the ground around Yu's body. He clenched his hands into a fist, but the old man's magical powers began to hold his arms and legs, after which he spoke with glowing red eyes, since he so wants to learn the true scripture of Chuan Wu, he should be allowed to test his abilities. Also, he shouldn't say that he didn't give him a chance, this is the threat of his true Chuan Wu Kai, if he can bear it, then he will teach him the true Chuan Wu scripture. Yu began to scream in pain and horror, bright sparks of the old man's magic emanated from him, as well as his own fiery sparks, and he thought, it is the true Kai Chuan Wu who is destroying his meridians, his body, he can't stand it anymore. The system window reports new experiences gained. Everything around was in bright fiery magical rays, stones scattered on the ground in different directions, after which you turned into a huge stone and easily got out of this, remaining alive. This surprised the old man very much and he wondered what it was just now. Yu was able to get up from his seat, there were a lot of abrasions and blood on his body, and he thought about what a terrifying technique this was, if he didn't have an immortal body, he's afraid he would have died already in that case. The old man was horrified and said, this little guy really resisted, could it be that he is really capable of learning the true Chuan Wu scripture? The old man directed a huge magical turtle standing below towards Yu, the turtle with a lightning fast glance directed magical rays at Yu, at that moment his entire body glowed with a bright blue light and he found himself in some unknown space. He looked around and wondered where he was. The old man found himself in the same place and answered him, kid, he doesn't need to panic, this is his grotto of immortality. You asked him again in surprise, did he say the grotto of immortality? At this moment, he thought, the grotto of immortality, there are rumors that among those in the group of immortality, only the strongest people can create their own world, in the four holy lands you can count them on your fingers. The old man replied that he didn't think that the one who would inherit his mantle would be a boy with the five element realm, it seemed like he really had something special. You clasped his hands and asked him with complete seriousness, old man, who is he anyway? The old man answered him that his name is Lin Tian, he is the sixth descendant of the greatest Xuan Wu, by and large he should be called the founder of the sect. You turned to him again and said, old man, he doesn't understand one thing. He is so powerful, but why does he willingly allow the Hongwu sect to be the henchmen of the Ling Sao holy land? With his strength, he could make the Hongwu sect equal to the four sacred lands. The old man asked him again, the boy, doesn't he know that he is dead? How can it compete with the four holy lands? You asked him again in bewilderment, how is he dead? He answered, that's right, 200 years ago he was about to break through to the sage realm when he was imprisoned by four great saints at the peak of his weakness and as a result his body was destroyed, leaving only the remnants of his soul. Although he had dealt with the four great saints with heavy uranium at that time, after his death, the Xuan Wu clan no longer had the powers that be, and would ultimately be left to fend for himself if it were not for the Ling Sao Holy Land's greed for the secrets of the true Xuan Wu scripture. He fears that his sector would have been cut off from its heritage long ago. After these words, you thought about how he never even thought that the Hong Wu sect still had such secrets. The old man continued to speak while addressing him as a kid, since he is a member of his Xuan Wu sect, and has received the approval of the Xuan Wu true scripture. Then he will pass this on to him in the hope that one day he can lead his Xuan Wu sect and bring back the glory of this sect. Yu smiled back at him and said, Old man, he will fulfill his mission with honor. He punched his hand and the old man answered him with burning eyes, Okay, he will teach him the true scripture of Xuan Wu. He should listen carefully, kid. The true scripture of Xuan Wu is not a technique, but a special method of cultivating the body. There are twelve levels of the Xuan Wu Sutra, he only reached the eighth level in his life. If he only practiced the first level of the Xuan Wu true scripture, he would not be inferior to the strongest of the true martial realm in terms of physical body alone. He will pass on all twelve lessons to him in hopes that one day he will surpass him. Yu's whole body lit up with a bright light and he said with a smile, what an incomprehensible technique. Perhaps this is not inferior to the secret of the sacred body of the Buddha. The old man replied to him, well, it's really not bad. He entered the first layer of the Chuan Wu true scripture so quickly, 
he really was not mistaken. Little one, let him let him use this residual body to test how deeply he has grasped the hidden meaning of the Xuanwu true scripture. The old man directed his powers at him and told him with fiery eyes to catch it and follow the movement. Yu smiled back at him and said, Okay, he likes it, old man, he should take care. Yu raised his hand up and directed his magical powers against the old man, causing their powers to collide and the old man said in surprise, That was not bad, now one more time. Yu replied, Okay, let him forgive the boy for such an offense. They continued to fight and their forces clashed a second time. Yu clenched his fists and stubbornly continued to attack his opponent, hitting him in the chest with the other. The old man made noises of pain before loudly coughing up blood. Yu got scared by this, turned to him and asked, Old man, is he okay? The old man fell to the ground. Yu ran closer to him, grabbed his body to support him. But the old man told him that it didn't matter. It was only the remnant of his soul. He already had one foot in the grave. The old man looked into Yu's eyes and continued to say, If he has such a wonderful air like him, he will be able to die without regrets. Kid, his name is Zhang Yu, right? Yu replied with a sad expression, Yes, that's right, old man. The old man smiled a little and answered him, Yes, that is a glorious name. From now on he will be the seventh generation heir of Supreme Xuanwu, and the Xuanwu sect will obey his orders. In the end, he did not allow Supreme Xuanwu's legacy to be interrupted. After these words, he evaporated right in the hands of Yu, who looked at the remaining sparks from his body. He felt sad, he clenched his hand into a fist and said with pity, Old man. At that moment, the wall in the room began to rumble and the system window informed him that it congratulated the owner for killing a master of a higher level, experience plus 10 million. Yu was surprised by this notification and wondered what happened. After which he angrily shouted, What horror! He suddenly started shouting, System. The system ball appeared, brushing its teeth, and asked him a question, Master, why is he screaming so loud? Yu grabbed the system ball in her hands and asked to explain the system, what was the meaning of this experiment? The system ball was surprised by the notification from the system window and said, Experience? What experience? The system needs to look at this. Suddenly the system ball was even more surprised and asked what happened. Master, was he having fun with suicide again? You answered him with anger, he was having fun, but what does he say? Why didn't the system ball tell him that there was a pumping mechanism by killing monsters? The system ball was puzzled by his reaction and decided to peer into the notes on a sheet of paper with the words, Pumping by killing monsters, is there really such a country function or something? Now it will look at everything. You at that moment stood behind the system ball in rage, and the system ball smiled and said with embarrassment, Wow, I found it all. There really is such a mechanism, if he had not told the system ball about this, then the system would have forgotten about it. That such a function exists at all. The system said, Okay, nothing else is needed, so now let's go eat first. You grabbed the system ball angrily after these words and said, How many more functions does this hide from him? Fraudulent system. He continued to hold down the system ball with brightness and shouted that it was obvious that you can increase the level by killing monsters, and it still offers him to kill himself so many times, so does the system consider him a complete wimp? Yu began to be so irritated that he even began to shake the system ball screaming. If the system does not clearly explain this whole situation to him today, then he thinks that the system should stop eating you and bao rice. The system ball responded with a trembling voice, Okay, okay, that will say it all, it will say everything. Indeed, killing enemies increases experience, but the amount of experience gained corresponds to the strength of the enemy. If you kill an enemy of a higher level, it will increase experience by 10 times. Moreover, the techniques that the owner masters can also be improved by experience. There are still many confusing functions, so it all depends on him, figuring it out is his interests. By the way, the system opened the technique improvement interface for him. The system showed a system window where it was reported that the final stage 5 element realm was 1,001,211 out of 10,000. The secret of the sacred body was like the first level 0 out of 500,000. The Qun Wu true scripture the first level 0 out of 500,000. The system continued to say that the owner should be more careful if he wants to increase the level every time he kills an enemy. He should improve his techniques, if he just increases the kingdom, he will not be able to reach his maximum potential. So after all this, can the owner let the system go home and have dinner with his wife? You responded to the system rudely, so get lost, you scammer. You came closer to the system window and thought about developing the hidden essence, is this what he needs to do? With just this experience, he can raise his level to the final stage of the realm of true mastery or even higher. But simply increasing his level will have minimal effect on his combat power and even if he reaches the realm of true mastery, he will not be able to fight with levels higher. After these words, he reached out to the system window, pressed one of the buttons and said, Okay, everything is decided. The system window began to notify him that the secret of the sacred body of the Buddha had been upgraded, Mars blood circulation had been unlocked, plus 100 experience for dying in battle, 
which was invalid for suicide. The increase in the level of the Chuan Wu true scripture sphere has also been completed. The heavenly will fist of the four elephants has been unlocked, doubling the combat power when used, the maximum possible and enhancing up to 16 times the combat power. The hand that catches dragons has been promoted to saint rank first stage minus 1,200,000. Yu thoughtfully looked at this information. His hand lit up with fire and he said, this is what a strong hidden essence. He feels that the strongmen of the realm of true mastery will not even be able to catch his blows. Immortal Mysteries sect, there were many dead people on the ground, Fang Xinyu, who is the first son of the sacred land of Ling Sao, landed on the body of one of the dead and he said sarcastically that there is a lot of garbage here, he is simply too weak. Next to him was a guy named Nalan Gan, who is the eighth son of the sacred land of Ling Sao who mocked the wounded people and kicked one of the bloody men lying on the ground in the face while holding the other beaten guy by the collar in his left hand. The man he pushed away spoke to him, Holy son, he should spare the old man, the subordinate deserves to die, please holy son, let him have mercy on him. He will break with the past and take the righteous path and also give all the strength to the eastern field. Zinyu looked at him with arrogance and asked a question, is this how he expresses his ardent desire to work? Why on earth did this happen? The old man answered him, standing up a little, that he was a practitioner of the immortal realm and was willing to sacrifice his blood to make an immortality pill for the Holy Son. He only needed the Holy Son to agree to let him go, but before he could finish speaking, Zinyu deprived him of his head with absolute indifference, after which he said that this was an insignificant immortal kingdom at an early stage. After all, he had an unrealistic dream of becoming his henchman without even looking, is it worth something? At that moment, a girl in a pink suit escaped from Gan's hands and screamed in fear, Master. Gan said with a smile, Boss, he shouldn't be so bloodthirsty in front of the girls and laughed. The girl turned to them with tears in her eyes and shouted angrily that they were two scoundrels who would sooner or later go to hell. Gan came closer to her and chuckled at her words, after which he said that his brother has the status of an immortal person, so who could harm him? The girl continued to sit near the murdered body of her master, experiencing incredible pain inside. Gan turned to Xin Yu and asked him a question, pointing his finger in the direction of the girl. Boss, what about this woman? He replied that he should let her go, because this woman has good talent, in the future she can become his stepping stone on the path to becoming a celestial. Gan told him that he was truly terrible, after which he walked up to the girl and said to her mockingly, Woman, she should leave here before his boss changes his mind, and she should also remember their names, Fang Xinyu and Nalan Gan, and return to to take revenge when she becomes stronger in the future. She rose from the earth and he repeated to her to get out of here now. She wiped the tears from her eyes and looked into his face with hatred, after which she abruptly disappeared. Xinyu looked up and said, The immortal mystery sect was also destroyed by them, then where should they go? He continued to look up and saw a bird flying towards him and caught it with one hand. There was a note in the bird's paws, which he took and threw the bird out of his hands. Gan was surprised by this and asked the question, Is this a sparkling cone? A challenge from His Excellency the Wisest Ruler. Xin Yu opened the note on which the following information was written. Jiang Yu of the Hongwu sect was chosen as a target for relocation, and he had already delayed the advance of the western field to the Hongwu sect. He should kill him. Xin Yu smiled and said with a bloodthirsty expression, Jiang Yu is from the Hongwu sect, I wonder if someone wants to use the Yu's step again. He called Gan with him, saying that they would follow him, the 8th, to the Hongwu sect. Yu came down the stairs and said, Hey, Elder Wu. The man looked at him warily and thought that this boy's aura seemed strange to him. Is this what he's thinking? Yu pointed his finger at his face and said, Elder Wu, what's going on? Maybe he has something on his face. Elder Wu knelt down in front of him and said, Wu Quanjian's subordinate, he came to pay a visit to the young master. Yu asked him back in surprise, young master. Elder Wu, what is he even doing? Wu answered him, the one who mastered the true Xuan Wu scripture is the true master of the Xuan Wu sect, the young master, he has the same aura as the previous master, a subordinate can never make a mistake. Yu thought about how, Elder Wu also knows the secret of the third level of the Buddhist canon repository. He walked closer to Wu and gave him his hand, saying, please let him get up quickly, Elder Wu. Wu answered him with respect, young master, is he sure that he must have seen the previous master like him? Yu answered him with sadness, the old man, he died. Wu said in bewilderment, the head, and at that moment you touched his shoulder with the words, Elder Wu, he should not grieve too much about this, he will definitely avenge the death of the old man. The days of dictatorship in the four great holy lands will not last long. Wu answered him, young master, the four great saints of the land have deep roots, if he wants to avenge the old master, then he needs to think things through carefully, he should not act impulsively in such a case. Yu answered him with a smile, please let him be sure of this, Elder Wu, because he, Jiang Yu, is not a reckless person. But he knows very little about the four great holy lands, so he would like to ask Elder Wu to help him figure it out. 
Elder Wu answered him with a serious face that of the four great holy lands, the Lingxiao Holy Land, which dominates the eastern field of the heavenly continent, is the most powerful. The other three sacred lands in the northern region is the Yaochi Holy Land, in the western region is the Kangwen Holy Land, in the southern region is the Daoyi Holy Land. As far as he knows, all four great holy lands have at least two powerful masters ruling the territory. The figures of the elders, almost all the masters of the monastery realm, as for those below the border of the monastery realm, there are countless of them. The ordinary elders of the monastery realm, the supreme elders, the wisest lords, the realm of lords, governors, foreign ambassadors of the kingdom of the monastery. You thought for a moment and replied that he did not expect that the four great holy lands would be so powerful. It was no wonder that even an old man with such a level of cultivation fell. He turned away from the elder and thought with a smile, but he has an immortal body, so even if the four great holy lands are strong, it will do absolutely nothing to him. Wu looked at him questioningly while he was turned away before grinning and saying, the reason why the four great holy lands are so bold is because they have almost monopolized the cultivation resources of the entire Tianyu continent. Even worse, in order to ensure their position, the four great holy lands forcibly absorb the talents of all sects, and the slightest act of rebellion on the part of the remaining sects would lead to the destruction of their sect. The previous master was disgusted by the behavior of the four great holy lands and always opposed it, which is why he was killed by these shameless people, even he and his master, Jian Yu, were banned by the supreme elder of the holy land Ling Xiao. their cultivation can only remain in the late stages of the realm of immortality, with no hope of breaking through to the realm of the monastery until the end of life. You thought, it seems that these four great holy lands have taken the standard villain scenario. After these thoughts, he said out loud, By the way, Elder Wu, where is his master Jian Yu now? Elder Wu answered him that his master Jian Yu was imprisoned by the sect leader in the sect's forbidden area because she protected him three years ago and rebelled against the holy land of Ling Xiao. Yu got angry and said, Terrible Lin Ziyu, how dare he treat his master like this? Elder Wu answered him, Alas, young master, he should not hate the head too much. For the sake of preserving the foundations of the Xuan Wu sect, they can only bow to the holy land of Ling Xiao in order to delay their death. This is an act of despair. However, now, young master, when he has learned the true scripture of Xuan Wu, one can hope for the rise of the Xuan Wu sect, there is no need to be too afraid of the Ling Xiao holy land. Elder Wu created magical fire with one slight movement of his finger and spoke, This is Xuan Wu's decree, as long as young master, he has this decree. Even the sect master is obliged to obey his orders. When he sees the decree, the sect head will definitely definitely spare his master. Yu grabbed the golden item in his hands and thanked Elder Wu for the item. Elder Wu answered him, The young master is very kind, but now it is extremely important that the young master cultivate the Xuan Wu true scripture to the seventh level and above. Only then can he lead them against the four great holy lands, and until then they must be careful. Yu told him that he shouldn't worry about him. Elder Wu, he would keep a low profile. Yu was thinking at this moment, should I cultivate honestly? What more? He just needs to gather the experience of several holy land great masters, supreme elders and the like. The seventh level of the Xuan Wu true scripture is not such an easy matter. During these reflections, he looked into the distance with a serious look and smiled. Great Hall of the Sect. Some man ran up to Han's body in fear and asked him a question. Who, who dared to hurt him like that? Han opened his eyes, blood flowed from his mouth and said in a trembling voice, without any strength to speak, Master, Jiang did it, Jiang Yu, that robber. The old man shouted, Curse, he will tear Jiang Yu to pieces because of this. After which he handed him a glowing pill and said that this is an everlasting pill that will help heal his wounds, Han, he should quickly take it. At this moment, the pill in his hands begins to catch fire, he got scared, turned around sharply and shouted, Who did this? You entered the room and said with a smile, A worthless invalid, to waste such precious medicine for him, the great elder, he is too selfish. The elder spoke to him angrily, He, Zhang Yu. You answered him with perfect calm, That's right, it's him, he's honored that the great elder still remembers him. The elder stood up from the floor and said, Zhang Yu, he not only injured his disciple, but also dared to come and destroy his medicine, and he shouted sharply, So does he really want him to destroy him again? Okay, then today he will clean up the mess. After these words, the elder created a bright magic ball in his hands and Yu shouted back to him and asked the question, He's old and won't die, does he really want to fight him? Yu had already created a magic ball with one hand and prepared for battle, after which he began to shout further that this was the perfect day to settle old and new grievances. At that moment, Lin stood between them, stretched his arms between them and shouted to both of them that they should stop now. The elder asked him a question, Brother Mentor, why is he stopping him? Lin replied, Great Elder, this child will still be useful to them. He should not forget that the Lord Envoy entrusted him to them. The Elder thought about it and replied, So that's it, brother, he doesn't have to worry about it. Honestly back he received new instructions from the Holy Land of Ling Xiao. 
Sage Lord Fang ordered them to do everything possible to kill Jiang Yu. At this moment, his eyes expressed incredible anger. Lin looked at him in bewilderment and asked a question, Great Elder, is he serious about this? The Elder replied, This matter concerns the safety of his Hongwu sect, how can he deceive him in this case? Lin chuckled, turned towards Yu and continued to say that if it comes to that, then he does not need to tolerate this boy, he will return the humiliation that he put him through these days with his own hands. Yu smiled back at them and asked a question, so are the two of them really going to attack him again like three years ago? He advises them to think carefully about this, because if he strikes, he will not kill them so easily. A magical fire lit up in his hand, which Lin was very surprised by and was wary of this. Turning to the great elder, he reminded him that he should be very careful, because Jiang Yu's strength is not inferior to the realm of true mastery. The elder replied in full readiness, Master, he doesn't need to strain himself, over all these years, with the help of the Holy Land. He has reached the threshold of the immortal realm, a boy from the five element realm is not even worthy of his attention. After these words, he clenched his hands into a fist and bright rays of magic began to radiate from his body. Half step of the immortal realm. Yu looked at him carefully and said, This is interesting, because this old man is twice as strong as Lin Ziyu, but still he is not as good as that holy land envoy, it looks like he also needs to become serious. At this moment, the elder began to shout with anger and complete self-confidence. Jiang Yu, he will allow him to feel the power that goes beyond the realm of true mastery. So let him die. Along with these words, he sent a bright magic ball in his direction, and his eyes lit up with the same bright hue. Palm of the Great Desert of Nirvana, Xuan Wu advanced martial skill. The elder directed his magical powers at him, from the speed of which the entire floor was broken, and some stones from the floor scattered in different directions. Yu smiled and wondered if he looked at a body tempered by the second level of the Xuan Wu true scripture, would he be able to resist a person above the realm of true mastery? He crossed his arms in front of him and the magic beam began to cover his entire body. At that moment their forces collided and a bright light explosion occurred, after which all the rays of light evaporated and only smoke remained. The old man was stunned for a moment before he opened his mouth in surprise along with Lin, who were wondering what had happened. Yu shook himself off, grinned and said, the greatest elder of the porridge did not eat much. At this moment, he thought that he thought that he would die once, but he did not expect that his skin would not even burst. This is strengthening the body with the second level of the true Xuan Wu scripture. Yu asked them a question, so didn't they want to show him a power that surpasses the realm of true mastery? The elder, in a state of shock, told him in a trembling voice, this is simply impossible. Even the sons of the Holy Land did not possess such power when they were in the realm of the five elements. No, he simply does not believe it. Why, why has he overcome the realm of true mastery? He cannot even harm a youth with the realm of the five elements. You closed his eyes with calmness, I stood in a comfortable position, not paying attention to their bewilderment. Lin, standing not far from them, looked at him with fear and understood, no, this simply cannot be. This is Zhang Yu's aura, so has he really studied it. At this moment, Yu created magical fire in his hands and said, Be careful, great elder, he will only use one technique, mortal rank combat skills will be enough against him. At that moment, he directed all his powers towards Elder Wu, master of Lin and Han, and an ominous red-eyed monster emerged from his magical powers. The elder saw this monster and said in fear, this, after which he immediately turned towards Han, ran sharply closer to him, grabbed his hands and looked at him in fear. Han asked him a question, Master, what is he even doing? The elder told him in his ear to forgive him, Han, forgive the master, the teacher will avenge his death. Han was greatly frightened by these words, and at that moment you appeared in front of his face, who directed his incredible magical powers at him and Han screamed in fear, no. He jumped away from the blow, the elder continued to watch what was happening with one eye, and at that moment you hit the ground and him with such force that several serious explosions occurred, which created many cracks and debris. Han found himself in the elder's arms, lying motionless. The system window reports that it congratulates on killing an opponent of the middle stage of the kingdom of five elements, experience plus 20, and also congratulations on killing an opponent of a higher rank, half shout kingdom of immortality experience plus 5000. Yu is happy about this and said in surprise, looking towards the elder and Han, wow, is he really that strong already? Lin ran closer to the murdered bodies of the elder and Han, was very scared and thoughtful. He literally killed the great elder with one movement, so he cannot be mistaken that Zhang Yu must have learned the true scripture of Wu. Lin turned around with a frightened expression on his face, but at that moment Yu took a step towards him and said with a smile that he would be next, Lin Ziyu. Lin was stunned by his words, after which he suddenly fell to the floor, turned to him and said, No, Jiang Yu, he should stop and think carefully about the fact that he is the master of the Hongwu sect. At this moment, he began to shout sharply and emotionally, if he killed him, then the Ling Sao Holy Land would not spare him. 
Yu smiled at his face and said, and so, Lin Ziyu, so he still thinks that he has the right to give orders in his presence. A fire lit up in Yu's left hand, to which Lin paid attention both with caution and out of fear, and accidentally relieved himself right below him on the floor. Yu covered his nose with his hands and said with disgust, what a stench here now, what a terrible smell. Lin shouted, in a strong state of shock, Jiang Yu, what does this mean, is he really laughing at him? Either way, he is the head of the Hongwu sect, if he wants to disgrace him, he would rather kill himself. Yu answered him with a question in response to the question, what does it mean to disgrace him? He has a not-so-bad habit of killing everyone he doesn't like, after which he approached Lin closely, grabbed him by the clothes and continued to talk, threatening him, only for the fact that he is the father of Dei and the descendants of Lin Tian's predecessor, he will spare him. Both of them were kind to him and they deserved 1,000 years of human grace and fruits as a keepsake, unlike him, he Jiang Yu is a very moral person. Lin answered him with a puzzled expression, Jiang Yu, did he really meet an ancestor? Yu continued to hold his clothes and answered him, of course it is, he also knows about the existence of Elder Lin Tian. Then he should also know that he has practiced the true Xuan Wu scripture, right? Lin became wary and asked him a question, so what if he was trying to show off his talent and ridicule him for being a completely blind person? He wants to tell him that he never regretted destroying him once, because he doesn't understand at all what kind of responsibility he has as the head of the Hongwu sect. Yu threw him aside and said, he is not such a superficial person. He should listen to him carefully, Lin Ziyu, he doesn't care what his intentions or feelings were, he can forget the past, but only if he can submit to it. Lin shouted back at him, Jiang Yu, he is talking such nonsense, what position does he have to force him to obey him? Yu abruptly took out a golden object and showed it to him, after which he asked the question, is this true? Then he should look at what it is in his hands. Lin was beside himself with surprise, causing his eyes to widen and he couldn't answer for a while. He replied, this, this is Xuan Wu's decree, how did he end up with this? Yu said back to him, turning to him, Lin Ziyu, seeing Xuan Wu's edict is like seeing the Xuan Wu sect lord, Lin Ziyu, why doesn't he kneel in front of him now? Lin could not calm down and said this, after which he knelt in front of him, bowed to the floor and said, Lin Ziyu, the head of the fourth generation of the Xuan Wu sect, expresses respect to the young master. Yu answered him with a smile, yes, that's very good, it seems that he is not a person like the great elder, he still has the rules of the Xuan Wu sect in his heart, so it's not in vain that he spared his life. Xuan Wu Grotto of Immortality Yu walked closer and closer to the huge gate, with Lin and several other young guys walking behind him. Lin turned to him and said, Young master, this place is forbidden, where Elder Giant Yu, the Xuan Wu Immortality Grotto, is imprisoned. Yu looked at the plants on the gate and thought, The Forbidden Cave is worthy of this name. The ban on entering there is so strong that he is afraid, that even now he will not be able to break through it. He touched the flowering plants, and at that moment Lin began to tell him again, Young master, this Xuan Wu Immortality Grotto is a space that evolved from the second ancestor grotto. It comes off once every ten years and even he doesn't know what's inside there. You asked him with a serious expression, the second coffin of immortality. This is also true. The true scripture actually says that if a person cultivates the scripture to the sixth level, then he will be able to form a second grotto in his body. The grotto that he found in the repository of Buddhist canons should only be in at the bodily grotto of the immortality of the ancestor Lin Tian. And this is the second year of immortality that the elder Lin Tian collected cultivating the true scripture of Xuan Wu. At this moment, he turned to Lin Ziyu and addressed him with the words, Lin Ziyu, he said that this cave opens once every ten years, and his master was in this cave for only three years, so is he unceremoniously telling him that does he have the ability to save his master. Lin answered him with discomfort through gritted teeth, that this is not really what is happening. This is a misunderstanding, because a subordinate is in no way deceiving the young master. Originally this grotto actually opened once every ten years, but as long as he has Xuan Wu's decree, he can free to enter and leave this place at any time. He bowed to him and continued to say that once the Xuan Wu edict was placed in the mechanism in the center of the cave, the young master would be able to open the passage to the Xuan Wu grotto. Yu was surprised by this and said, this is how it works, after which he reached out with his hand to the magical bright sign on the gate and easily opened the gate, which lit up with a bright magical light and the shoots of the plants were arranged in a convenient way, opening the gate. Many magical rays appeared around Yu's body and he disappeared in front of everyone. He arrived in some unknown space and found himself there completely alone. He looked around and thought, this is the inside of the Xuan Wu Immortal Grotto. A bright magical object glowed in his hands and he continued to think that it looks like Lin Ziyu was absolutely right. The Xuan Wu decree allowed free entry and exit from the grotto, but what is really strange is the fact that Elder Lin Yun had already died, so why did he feel that Xuan Wu Immortal Grotto was still under someone's control? 
From the moment he entered this place, a powerful divine consciousness had been following him, so who is this person? After his thoughts, he notices a bright dark magical swirl above him, which scared him a little and he realized that things were bad, because the Almighty began to act on the sly. This person's cultivation level is at least in the monastery realm, could it be someone from the Ling Sao sacred land? At that moment, the dark magical hole began to expand, and magical rays of bright pink color formed around his body which began to lift him up, which scared him very much and he thought that this was a terrifying power, even now that his power is comparable to the kingdom immortality, he cannot resist it. At that moment his leg trembled and he thought that this was the end. At the same moment, a magical dark hole swallowed him completely, he opened his eyes, looked around, saw some girl in front of him, sitting in space, and thought, he's here. The girl looked at him with a smile and asked him a question, so has he woken up already, you? He saw the girl and shouted with joy, Master. He walked closer to her and continued to speak in delight, Master, her aura, this person with a strong realm, so it's her. What's going on here anyway? The master stroked Yu's head and said with a smile, Yu, they haven't seen each other for three years, and he is still such a hasty person. At that moment, he snapped his fingers and a tea table appeared between them, on which stood a jug of water and two mugs. She said that first he should drink water and everything related to the issue, she would slowly explain everything to him later. Yu thought after her words, creating emptiness is really a technique of the monastery realm, is it true that the master has already reached this realm? But didn't Elder Wu talk about how she master was imposed for the ban on the Ling Sao sacred land, and that he could no longer break through? What exactly had happened to her in the past three years? He was thinking about this while watching her drink water, but suddenly she abruptly put the glass down and told him that she knew very well that he now had a lot of doubts. You, in fact, she was also very interested in what happened with him for these three years. She had just studied his aura and to her surprise, not only had his cultivation recovered, but he had also achieved even more success, it seemed that he had gained some capabilities over the years. He answered her while looking into her eyes, to be honest, the disciple actually got some chances, he not only passed on the supreme bone, but also received the legacy of senior Lin Tian and learned the Xuan Wu true scripture. The master was surprised by his words and replied that in that case, it is not surprising that he has such a heritage even in the realm of the five elements and was able to enter this Xuan Wu cave. He told her that they shouldn't talk about him, master, because he was very interested in how she was able to break into the realm of the monastery when she was kept locked up in the immortal city of Chuanwu for three years, where she was cut off from the outside world and could not cultivate. She lowered her gaze and answered him with a sad expression on her face that it was a very long story, but she began to talk about what happened to her during this time. Three years ago, she was imprisoned in this Xuan Wu cave, Lin came closer to her along with Elder Wu and expressed words of apology, Elder Jian, but she offended Sage Fang, and for the well-being of the entire Hongwu sect. At this moment the master interrupted her story and added all this, that at that moment she thought that it would be difficult for her to see the white light again, but she accidentally discovered the secret of this Xuan Wu mortality grotto. This grotto, although it was abandoned by Master Lin Yun, did not reject external power and could be artificially improved. She initially tried to improve this Xuan Wu Grotto, but unexpectedly discovered that in the shadows there is a powerful being who is also vying for the right to control the Grotto Immortality Xuan Wu. But this person's strength was rejected by the Grotto, and in order to counter this, the Xuan Wu Immortality Grotto gradually chose to merge with her body, allowing her to break through into the monastery realm so as not to be inferior to this person. She grabbed the cup and said that this powerful creature still wants to seize control of the Xuan Wu Immortality Grotto, and is hiding in it to this day. Yu was very surprised by her words and shouted in a state of complete bewilderment, what did she just say? There is someone in the world who is capable of penetrating the immortality grottos of other people. Who is he anyway, master, does she have any ideas about this? She answered him with a serious expression that this was the supreme elder of the Ling Sao sacred land, Yun Potion. Hearing these words, Yu shouted in fear, what? Yun Potion? Weren't there rumors that the hour of his death has come and he already has one foot in the grave? Master Jian answered him. Indeed, Yun Potion was severely injured by the ancestor of Lin Tan, his source was damaged, and his lifespan was greatly reduced. But this man has natural talent and in a hopeless situation he made another breakthrough. If not for his exhausted body, she he is afraid that the Xuan Wu Grotto of Immortality would have long ago fallen into his hands. Yu replied with a serious expression, does the master mean that he has already broken through to the sage realm? Jian answered tersely, that's right. Yu continued to speak, but master, if Yun Potion has already broken through to the sage realm and has no equal to their age, then why does he need the insignificant Xuan Wu Grotto? Jian reached for the water jug and replied, putting it in place, Yu, Xuan Wu's immortality grotto is not as simple as he thinks. Although Yun Potion is now in the sage realm, he has not yet regained his strength, 
and if he still wants to regain it, he must do two things. Firstly, he needs to compensate for the damage that was caused to his source. This Xuanwu Immortality Grotto was created by a strong person close to the Sage Realm and had a strong source, so it is natural that Yun Potion wants to get this grotto. The second thing is that he needs another body to transmigrate to replenish his longevity, and only by doing these two things can he truly unlock the power of the Sage Realm. You spoke, realizing all the words he had said, this is what it is. At that moment, something alerted him and he thought that this simply cannot be, the source and the physical body, since Yun Potion's goal is to replenish the source, he needs the Xuanwu cave, then, does he need a physical body for relocation? He remembered his words, he suggested that you think about it carefully and join the western field, it has unlimited prospects. He wondered again, was it possible that the Holy Land had not previously tried to recruit him, but wanted to make him a target for Yun Potion to relocate? If things really are like this, then now that he is in Xuanwu Grotto, isn't he putting himself in danger? Master Jian turned to him and asked, You, what's the matter? He looks so pale. He told her that this is not good, Master, the target that Yun Potion is going to move to is most likely himself. Master Jian was greatly impressed by these words and shouted to him what he was talking about. At that moment, everything around began to shake, the coffee table began to crack in pieces, Master Giant tensed and said, What a horror, how did he find this place? At that moment, bright magical rays, which they noticed from afar, headed towards them, and these magical rays moved them away from each other, hitting the table between them. Jian shouted for you to be as careful as possible, after which she created a magical flame and shouted, Xuanwu Cave, this should help drive into a trap. After these words, her magic chains were grabbed by incredibly large monsters that were heading to attack them, and several more monsters jumped out to save this monster. Jian rose to her feet, pointed her hands towards the fire and shouted for it to bloom. You stood in a daze all this time, the essence of fire occurred, purification. At this moment, the shadow of a person appeared behind Jian and called her by name, Jian Yu. She turned around, and a man appeared in front of her, who told her how dare she, a harmful creature, spoil his good deeds again. She was very surprised by his words and shouted, Yun Potion. You became very wary at this moment and began to think about how terrifying the pressure was. This person's cultivation was completely different from all the powerful people he had ever met before. Yun Potion looked in his direction and you thought, that brat Yun Ao was right, who would have thought that the Hongwu sect actually had a body suitable for him. Yun grinned and shouted with an ominous expression on his face, how good it is that both of them are here today, really luck. He laughed and continued shouting that after he destroys both of them, he will be able to truly break into the Sage Realm and dominate the, the entire Tanyu continent. Jian shouted back at him, how arrogant that is. Yun Potion, in this cave they can fight on equal terms, but he wants to destroy her and her student, he's just saying some nonsense. He shouted back at her, really, and then invited her to see what they could do with what they had, an instant killing technique. He directed his magical powers at her, she did the same in response and told him in a calm tone that it was useless, any martial art is useless in Xuanwu Cave. She tried to protect herself with magic rings, but Yun's powers passed through it. This was the power of the Grotto of Immortality, the limitation of time and space. At this moment of the clash of their forces, several bright explosions occurred, Yun's eyes lit up with a red eerie light, he laughed loudly at her and said, Giant Yu, she's caught. He can't do anything to her, but her precious disciple doesn't have that kind of power. After his words, she began to get nervous at the thought of him aiming straight at you. You laughed loudly and shouted back that this body was his own. Jian reached out in fear towards you, but said that she simply wouldn't have time to do it. But this moment is Zhang Yu's sea of consciousness, essence of the soul. Yu sat in the lotus position, his body glowing with a bright light and his eyes closed. Yun came close to him, stroked his head and his body crumbled into small pieces, and Yun, in turn, laughed loudly and shouted, he finally got it, there was a magical light in his hand. At this time, outside the sea of consciousness, Jian sat next to Yu, stroked his back and asked, Yu, what is happening to him? He should wake up. He told her how he was not himself, teacher, everything is fine with him. Jian rose to her feet and said, okay, for the teacher, but before she had time to finish these words, you rushed to attack her, his eyes lit up bright red, he laughed and said, what a fool she is, since she fell for this. She moved some distance away from him due to a strong blow to the stomach, blood was flowing from her mouth, she looked into his eyes and said with anger, what a bastard he is. You shouted back, bastard, before laughing and continuing to shout that in this world, winners take all, she can only blame her own stupidity for this. Giant asked him through gritted teeth, Yun Potion, what did he do to you? He told her that she shouldn't worry about it, because he would allow the master and student to meet a little later, only on the way to the next world. He spread his arms again and laughed, grinning at her. She grabbed her stomach, looked away and thought, damn, just that this meanness damaged its source, now she is no longer his rival. Yun Potion, who was in Yu's body, 
grinned again and said, being in full readiness for another fierce fight, as expected, this body is truly extraordinary. With the martial skills of the sage realm, the true scripture of Xuan Wu and a technique no less powerful than the true sutra of Xuan Wu. And all this is now at his complete disposal, including Xuan Wu immortality grotto is included in this number. Jian answered him, looking into his eyes, it seems that the only way to stop Yun Potion is to blow up the grotto itself. After this assumption, she apologized to you for failing to protect him. At that moment, you, who appeared out of nowhere, said, Hey, old man, you can't play with people's bodies like that. Master Jian was surprised by his appearance and shouted in surprise, You. Yun Potion grabbed his face and said in fear that this is simply impossible. He clearly destroyed this boy's soul. Why is he still alive? Suddenly he realized something, became even more wary and said, This is not good, because he is stealing all his memories. Yu smiled and replied, So this is what it is, from the very beginning it was all planned by him, Yun Potion. He had long ago implanted his spiritual brand into Lin Ziyu, as well as into Elder Wu, secretly manipulating their actions. He allowed him to learn the true scripture Xuan Wu and sent him to the Xuan Wu Immortality Grotto to take over his body, as a sage is supposed to. He is indeed a smart person, but he was always one step behind from the moment he wanted to transmigrate into his body, he was doomed to fail. Yun responded to him with rage that he was talking complete nonsense, he absolutely could not fail in such a thing. Although he does not know how he was able to restore his soul, in his eyes he is still an ordinary cockroach, and it is easy to destroy him. You answered him, although he doesn't really think so, since they are now in the same body, then if he does this, and at that moment he hit himself on his left hand, because of which Yun screamed in pain and told him, vile Jiang Yu, how he doesn't even hesitate to harm himself in order to deal with him. You answered him, disgustingly, grinning, in this world the winners take everything, he can only blame his own stupidity for this. Yun shouted to him, what a horror, this is such a humiliation. He's not done with this yet. He will wash the Hongwu sect with blood. Jiang Yu, he will destroy everyone he knows and they will die in agony and suffering. Yu decided to hit himself a second time, and while he was swinging his hand, he said, has Yun Potion really been around for so long, and he still dares to threaten him. He again directed his hand and hit himself, Yun shouted to him, he has gone crazy, he will also die if he does this. At this moment, Yun thought about the fact that this is a curse, this person is really crazy, it seems that he can only forcefully separate himself from this body, although it will damage the source again, but he can't worry about it. Yu turned to him and said, so he wants to escape, he should not forget that he knows perfectly well what he is thinking about. If he wants to leave now, he will not allow him to do so. At that moment, he reached to his heart with his hand, grabbed it in his hands, which is why Yun screamed in pain and said, what a horror, but he will not give up, he will not give up. He is a great sage and he cannot die at the hands of a mortal cockroach. After which Yu's body began to land and Jian shouted to him in fear, Yu. She ran closer to him, turned to him, and said, the master could not take care of him properly, let him forgive her for this. At that moment when she hugged him, behind his back she saw something incredible, which made her wonder, how is this even possible? The system window reports that the revival was successful, experience plus one, the system congratulates the owner for killing an enemy of a higher level, half kingdom of the sage, experience plus five million. Yu woke up and laughed, after which he turned to Jian Yu and told her that he had returned. She got angry and said that this is a curse, Yun Potion, so he's still alive. She reached for her sword, swung it towards the potion and shouted at him to bring back the life of her student. Yu got scared and thought, what a horror, the joke had gone too far. She pointed the sword at him, he was very scared and did not know what he needed to do, after which he shouted to her, teacher, if you should stop doing this, because it's him, Jiang Yu. She sneered at him and said with an ominous expression, Yun Potion, does he really think that she will fall for the same trick twice? He shouted to her again, damn, master, this is really him. It's just a joke, he was joking with her. She shouted back at him, no matter how eloquent he was, she wouldn't believe him anymore, he should go to hell. At that moment, he covered himself from the sword approaching him and shouted, Mole. She became alert at this moment and continued to listen to him. He was still shouting, Master, a crescent moon birthmark on her stomach. She was dumbfounded and he asked her with a smile, Teacher, can she trust him now? At that moment, he thought about the fact that he came into this world as a child. At that time he bathed, ate. He did everything together with the teacher and it was then that he learned the secrets about the crescent-shaped mole on the master's body. She answered him with an offended look that he was a little bastard, from whom he learned to play pranks, how dare he mock the teacher. Yu grinned and replied, Hey, he was just playing for a moment, but he was wrong. She cleared her throat and replied that this would never happen again. Her face turned red with embarrassment, he came closer to her from the back, touched her shoulders and the answer was, yes, the student realized his mistake. She turned to him and asked the question, but going back to what she said, how did he manage to come back from the dead? After all, even someone as powerful as Yun Potion, those close to the power of a sage do not have such a skill, right? 
what finally happened to him over all these years. He replied, it's a long story. Western Temple of the Holy Land of Ling Sao, Yun Potion. The life tablet began to move and some guy saw this and spoke in surprise, it must have dazzled in his eyes how the ancestor's life tablet could move. The life tablet began to crack and suddenly exploded. Some guy got very scared, sat down on the floor to catch his breath and said how is this even possible? He suddenly began to run, shouting that the old ancestor had died. The guy immediately went to the man sitting in the throne, the man asked him a question, is he really sure that he saw with his own eyes how the life tablet of the old ancestor was broken? Sacred Lord of the Western Field, Yun Jing Tian. The guy turned to him and said, sir, he is quite sure that the old ancestor's life tablet suddenly exploded right in front of his eyes. Tian answered him that he understood everything, he should get out of here, this is a matter of special importance, he cannot announce it publicly. The guy replied that he understood everything, sir, he should not worry, because he would be dumb as a fish. As soon as the guy turned away from Mr. Tian, he pierced him through with magical powers, saying that only the dead can keep secrets. Lord Elders, he doesn't want anyone else to know about this incident, the guards of the Heavenly Fate Hall should also keep their mouths shut. The surrounding guys shouted to him, that's right. One of them said, but the wisest sir, he doesn't understand something. Tian told him to say what was on his mind, Elder Kinglay. Kinglay began to speak, the Supreme Elder's cultivation was amazing, and although his body was exhausted, he still had more than 10 years to live. But in his eyes, he is afraid that there is something else going on here, is someone wet from the eastern field the killer of the Elder? Tian chuckled and replied, doesn't he think he doesn't understand this? However, the Kinglay Elder, he is too worried about this, as far as he understands. The Sacred Lord of the Eastern Field, Fang Xian Cheng, although he does not want to seize power over the Holy Land, he will not dare to openly attack the strongest members of the Western Field, but will only secretly pull off a few tricks to prevent the Ancestor from regaining his powers. He had already used his cultivation of the realm of the Lord to understand that the old ancestor was killed in the Hongwu sect. When they moved to another body, little is known about this sect, who knows what secret they might have. Tian replied, since this master was able to kill the ancestor, then his cultivation should reach at least the realm of Lada. Moreover, he received reliable information that Fang Xian Cheng sent his precious son to the Hongwu sect, wanting to secretly kill the vessel that the ancestor liked in his western field. Does he really think that if his beloved son goes against the Hongwu sect, the Hongwu sect master will watch indifferently? King Lei replied, So this is how it is, the sacred lord wants to let this strong man in the shadows deal with Fang Xianqin's son, Fang Xinyu. Tian laughed and replied, That's right, his western field shouldn't be the only one that would suffer. King Lei replied, The sacred lord is indeed wise. The rest of the parties behind him shouted the same words, The sacred lord is wise. Western field why why strong man kingdom of the lord, why why said, that's all, that's exactly what happened. Jian thought for a moment and told him that she understood everything. He meant that he had awakened some kind of physique that gives him the ability to rise from the dead. Yu laughed and replied, exactly that. At this moment, Jian thought, it seems that her student is hiding something from her. But since such an event happened to you, then she, as a master, does not need to delve into his secrets. After these thoughts, she spoke, however, you, now that his cultivation level is only at the five element level, it is better for him to keep his physique a secret. Jin continued to say, there are countless powerful people on this continent and it is full of dangers, so he should remember to be careful. He smiled back at her and said that she shouldn't worry about it, teacher, he understands everything. Master Jian came closer to him, touched his hair and replied that it was good, after which she directed her powers to the side and collected several important books in front of his face and said, You, now that he is in the last stage of the realm of the five elements, although he has a strong base, it seems that he has not yet accumulated enough sources of the five elements to break through to the realm of true mastery. These five high-level secret rank techniques are the treasures of his master, so he should take it and cultivate it so that he can quickly break through to the realm of true mastery, this way he can provide himself with some protection. He took all the collected books in his hands and thanked his teacher. At this moment, he thought, although now he can improve by simply relying on the system, but the master does not know this. She really treats him like her own child. He mentally apologized to the teacher for having some secrets that he cannot tell she completely still does. At this moment, she smiled at him and said, well, you, now that he has seen the teacher and knows that everything is in order, he does not need to stay in the Xuanwu Immortal Grotto. He was a little upset after her words and said, but teacher, when will she leave the Forbidden Zone? She answered him by touching his shoulder, now that she has full control of the Xuanwu Heavenly Cave, she only needs to only take care of her wounds before she can meet him outside, since he received the Xuanwu Decree, he has become a sect master. He has there are also a lot of things to do outside, so he should step in. Also he should not blame Lin Ziyu for this. Let him tell him that for the sake of the teacher, he will not hold a grudge against him, he was just playing a role that none of them wanted play. 
Yu replied with a serious expression that he understood all this, after which he went to the exit and found himself outside the cave. When he came out from there, he thought it was strange where Lin Ziyu and the rest of the guys were, didn't he tell them to stand guard outside? This is bad, he feels two powerful auras at the entrance to the Hongwu. Could it be from the holy land of Ling Sao? He walked deep into the forest thinking that if someone from the Ling Sao holy land came here, he would be in trouble, he was afraid that with his current strength, even if he tried all the techniques and went beyond the limits of his immortal body, he will only be able to defeat people in the early stages of the immortality realm. Faced with a real power like Yun Tian, he would not have enough strength to fight. Now that his mentor is seriously injured, he can only rely on himself in the fight against the holy land of Ling Sao, but fortunately he has gained a lot of experience by killing Yun Tian, and now he can further increase his strength. The system window shows him, physical strength, he has half a step left to the early stage of the immortality realm. The level of the late stage of the realm of the five elements is 0 out of 10,000. The skills are the second stage of the true foundations. The second stage of the essence of the sacred body of the Buddha, the first stage of the holy rank of the hand that caught the dragon. Now he has a hidden essence, he can break through to the realm of true mastery at any time, and his body, located at the second stage of the true fundamentals of Xu and Wu, is able to repel anyone whose level is below the realm of immortality. He smiled, pointed his finger at the system window and said, in that case, and at this moment the system window congratulates the user for advancing to the late stage of the realm of true mastery. He is congratulated on realizing the third stage of the true fundamentals, his physical strength has reached the level of the middle stage of the realm of immortality. He is congratulated on realizing the third stage of the essence of the sacred body of a Buddha, acquiring the ability is disdain for fetters. He is congratulated on achieving the highest level in the technique of the hand that caught the dragon, comprehending the hidden meaning is the power of the heavenly dragon. At that moment, he was suddenly very alarmed by something and he was dumbfounded when fiery magical rays appeared around his body. He looked at his hands and said with confidence, wow, this is power. He feels that he can fight against the middle stage masters of the immortal realm even in his current state. If he could unleash his full power, how strong would he become? He looked around, laughed a little and said, so this is how a person feels when he has power. This young master is already arrogant, and he hopes that the masters of the holy land will not disappoint him. One stick of incense earlier, one stick of incense burns for about half an hour. On the path next to various buildings lay many dead bloody human bodies, next to which was Lin, who grabbed his stomach, looked at the sky and said, High-ranking gentlemen, his sector Hongu has always been unwaveringly devoted to the Holy Land, why today they decided to carry out a massacre in his sect. A man named Nalan Geng, who was standing not far from him, told him from top to bottom that he was an old fool and he was in no position to ask him questions now, he should just give Jiang Yu and maybe he would think about save his dog's life. Lin told him that he had no idea where Jiang Yu was. At this moment, he thought that Jiang Yu was the only hope for the revival of the Hongwu sect. Even if he had to lose his life, he could not betray him. Nalan Gan grabbed his throat and said, if so, then he is very sorry. He lifted his air while still holding him by the neck and continued to speak, sect leader Lin, he really liked how helpful a dog he was. Lin's face had already begun to turn blue, his whole body was trembling, but he was thinking about what to think, he lived his life under the banner of the Holy Land, wagging his tail and seeking compassion, and doing menial work, but at the same time, for him, everything would end like this. At this moment, Elder Wu approached them, pushed them away from each other and pierced Gan's right hand, from which blood poured out. He touched his hand and wondered, is it the master who has come? Wu answered him, Fan, scoundrel, how dare he do something outrageous in his Hongwu sect? Bea ran up to Lin with fear and asked him, Father, is he okay? Dan groaned, sent healing powers to his hand and spoke. Elder Wu looked into the distance and thought, restoring severed limbs, he masters the cultivation of the immortality realm at such a young age. Lin replied, Elder Wu, he should be careful, after all, they are the sons of the holy land of Ling Sao, there is no way they can start enmity with them. Elder Wu grabbed his magic sword and replied, This means that they are the sons of the holy land, now he understands why they are such arrogant guys. So what? This old man has personally killed a mortal number of highly gifted and talented daughters, so why should he be afraid of these two younger guys? Gan smiled in his face and replied, Old fool, what a smug tone he has, senior, he should be left to this old man, he has no business taking on the matter himself. Fang replied, so why not, but he should keep his eyes open, even though this old man's vitality has declined, but he still has the power of the cultivation of the middle stage of the immortal realm, so it will not be at all easy to defeat him. Gan gritted his teeth and replied that he understood everything, he should not worry about him, he should trust him. Elder Wu at this moment sneered at him and said, young man, he is so arrogant that he wants to fight one on one with this old man. Even though this old man's cultivation is no longer what it used to be, but he is still a junior who has just entered the immortal realm, so he will not be able to defeat him, the two of them should attack him at the same time. 
Fan looked at him with a smile and replied, Old man, he would advise him not to underestimate him, he is also in the realm of immortality. They are the highly gifted sons of the Ling Sao Holy Land, different from them. The scum, the highly gifted sons are at the top ten of the great sages of the four holy lands, each of whom is considered a genius capable of fighting opponents whose kingdom is superior to their own, and the sons of the Ling Sao Holy Land are completely geniuses among geniuses. Gan laughed and answered, It is, so the garbage doesn't seem worthy of his elder entering into battle. He alone is quite enough to deal with him. At that moment he made a sharp movement and shouted from it. Elder Wu was on full alert and said, This is a forbidden Tao level spell, the sacred secret instructions of Tanyang, and it is also cultivated to the fifth stage. This allows people in the early stage of the immortal realm to unhinderedly use the power equal to the late stage of the immortal realm. Gan's entire body lit up with bright pink magic and he continued to speak with an ominous smile, at least he was smart enough to recognize him. At this moment, Elder Wu thought that things were bad. This guy's hidden essence was beyond his imagination. In this case, he must not be allowed to gather his energy and reach the peak, otherwise he would definitely be defeated. Elder Wu swung his sword and said, Top level secret sword technique stage, shining star strike. Gan said, Secret stage of sword technique. What kind of garbage is this anyway? At this moment, their powers clashed, Gan easily resisted Elder Wu's blows and told him that he would allow him to see what could truly be called a top-level technique. He directed his forces at Elder Wu with the words, a divine stage of a top-level martial arts technique, the great art of instant killing. 